First Corinthians chapter 1 and Proverbs chapter 26. Okay, talk about a major shift. We just finished the book of Romans, the most deep, profound book ever written in the history of mankind. The greatest thesis on the subject of Christianity, beginning to end, written by the Apostle Paul. And we go right, talk about a, a 90 degree jerk around uh, into the book that is the most um, uh, dramatic, silly, immature Christians in all the New Testament. First Corinthians, they are a mess. They are a mess of a mess. They are, but, and I love it. I love that uh, First Corinthians are, is some of the most immature, childish petty, stupid, terrible sins, uh, arguing, fighting over communion, sexual immorality, uh, screwed up about the resurrection, arguing over the gifts of the Spirit, interrupting each other, uh, arguing division to strife, just problem, 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 for a couple reasons. One is because as pastors, pastors throughout history have been as grateful for 1 Corinthians as they have for Romans because we got a lot of 1 Corinthians Christians and Paul dealt with it so wisely and so graciously both in the 1 Corinthians and 2 Corinthians so you see the follow-up. So it really is real problems, real people, real answers and just, just love this book. So I'm mostly just commenting on the book itself. I've taught verse by verse through this book and I've read it thousands of times just because it helps me so much that if Paul dealt with it and I deal with it, every pastor deals with it. So we're about to dive in. That's my main comment today is how much I appreciate this book and how much you learn that that's just life on the earth and we're going to grow up eventually and we're all going to make it to heaven. It's going to be so much better there. Now in chapter Proverbs chapter uh, 26, I want to look at verse 10 today because this is a real grow up verse for me because what it says is don't ever, ever, ever hire someone quickly. It says, like an archer who wounds at random is he who hires a fool or any passerby. Now, let me let me be clear here. I've had a couple situations where I hired someone quickly where we had long-standing relationship with them, where we had some people who knew them for years. And so um, that's not a passerby. Um, but I've had situations where I was in a panic and I needed someone, and I just did one interview of someone that I did not know, someone else knew, did not know, and in every case, when I hired quickly, it was terrible. It was always terrible, and so, I, but I thought, you know, well, I, I feel good about it, I feel good about it, everybody else feels good about it, and I, and I disobeyed the Word of God. And so, um, fast hiring of someone you do not know, someone that you don't have deep relationship with, wow, the Word of God is always true. The Word of God is always powerful. Just took me a couple decades of stupid mistakes to learn to obey the Word of God. So may you not make as many stupid mistakes as I did. May you learn from the Word of God. May you have a blessed day today. Love you. God loves you. God bless you so much.